NFL's Elite Eight are on their grind. The Cowboys and Panthers with major news conferences today. And the man who scored the biggest touchdown of Wild Card Weekend is our special guest on NFL Total Access with Lindsey Rhodes and Scott Hansen. Looking forward to that Kyle Rudolph interview coming up. Also, Shaquille Griffin of the Seahawks will be joining us. First, though, you mentioned the news conferences. Yes. Let's start with the one in Dallas where Mike McCarthy was in to work with him. I want to bring in Ian Rappaport now for some information on the one job that has not yet been filled. It's the Cleveland Browns job, and it sounds like there are a few people in the mix for that. Yeah, still several people in the mix. Actually, the Browns... Down, Seahawks! Steps up, he gets hit, he goes down! Cloudy gets to him! I believe that's the seventh sack of the game it is, and the ball goes back to the Seahawks. One road win down for the Seahawks. We'll see if they can get another one Sunday at Lambeau. The field at which Shaquille Griffin made his NFL debut two seasons ago in 2017. What are your memories of that game, Shaq? I remember the first play. Uh, he, he just walked away and went back to his huddle. And, you know, next play, he threw a deep ball on me. So, um, that was the welcome to the NFL. Oh, <laughs> so, you got to take that personally. <laughs> he stared you down and then threw oh, at yeah. you? Okay. Yep. Yeah. You know, it just, I guess that was his way of saying hello. I, you know, so. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. So you've obviously faced him before. You faced him again last year and then uh, this Sunday coming up. He's not having his best year, but obviously, you know, we all know what he's capable of. I faced him again last year and then uh, this Sunday coming up. He's not having his best year, but obviously, you know, we all know what he's capable of. And that weapon that he has. Those big plays, be able to keep him in the game. So, you know, our main focus is just knowing what that guy is. Guys like Aaron Jones, those other guys on the offense, yeah. making them do Because yeah. he's been Aaron doing Jones, it all so year. No doubt. So, what you yeah, played some very good. You know, first off, we got to start to run. You played some very good running backs this year already. What yeah. What's different about Aaron Jones? Um, just be able to put him in different, uh, be able to put a stop to that and, you know, and know where he's at as, as well. Are you ready for the weather? We're hearing a high of 25, which sounds <laughs> awful. <sighs> well, I will be ready. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not now. I will be ready. You know, this would be different for me. This would be different for me. Oh, so, look at uh, that right snow shot. I'm going to weather. <laughs> uh, I got to ask you about Marshawn Lynch because you're getting a chance to play with him for the, play with him for the first time these last couple mm -hmm. of weeks. What is that like? It's always going to be Marshawn. As everyone knows, he doesn't talk to us in the media. Does he talk to you? Oh, um, yeah, he, he talks to us. <laughs> you know, I feel like I was, uh, our conversation was you know, a little more personal. So I definitely won't come with a, a camera in his face at all. <laughs> Thank you so much for making time to check in with us before the big game on Sunday. Good luck. No doubt. Appreciate you guys having me. Take home field advantage. It's certainly the one in which they have won the most. In fact, just four road teams have won in the division round since 2014. Gee, bye weeks are precious. Thanks. Gee. Who do you think has the biggest chance at changing that? It, it, why do you guys want me to be such a hater? Like, I, it's like 2020, I'm trying to be the new guy, but I don't care. You're what the one who says, where's my one chance? Where's my single? <laughs> there it is. I'm going to go with the Minnesota running like this. It becomes a problem, and all of a sudden, they can make plays. Dude. Got a good team. I'm going to the Seattle Seahawks. I mean, I think this is tough. They can bog the game down, right, with their running game. They don't score a ton of points, but the, the Packers have been inconsistent. If they're down by a touchdown, they're going to have an opportunity to pull off the upset. No votes for the Texans or the Titans. No. I don't know. Give me oh, two that more. was emphatic, too. Yeah. Give me two more overtime games. Never mind. Two or three. Right. I want a more. I'm greedy. Great oh. football. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again. Bye, Mom.